hi guys it's Jody welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna make a whole jerk chicken yes so this is my chicken right here and this is a large chicken I already washed it with some lemon juice and some lime juice so this is my seasoning right here I've got two teaspoons of all-purpose seasoning two teaspoons of jerk seasoning and two teaspoons of my chicken seasoning and one tablespoon of my garlic powder right here at the back and I'm using guys Jamaica Valley seasoning they're on Instagram so you guys can go and check them out but if you don't have you know the Jamaica Valley brand you can use whatever seasoning you have at home it's perfectly fine so first thing I'm gonna add is some olive oil to my chicken So I add at least one tablespoon of olive oil to my chicken just to keep it nice and nice. So now guys, I'm going to add my seasoning. And you just want to just take your time and just add it like so. And you're just going to take your hand and just rub it all in. gonna turn it over if you can see guys there's some seasoning at the bottom and you can just rub it all in okay Don't be scared to get your hand dirty. Make sure this seasoning is all in the creases and corner. I'm adding my garlic powder. Notice guys right here is still Thai, okay? And this is how it comes. So when it's baking in the oven, it's in one place. I don't want it to, you know, loosen up. So I don't remove the card from it. Make sure this season is all right here. Even on the inside of the chicken. And this is my jerk marinade and this is the Jamaica Valley one but as I said guys you can use whichever one you have okay so I'm gonna add at least one to two teaspoon okay I don't want to add too much because it is super super spicy okay so you want to rub it in like so I'm browning just for color I'm gonna put some of the jerk marinade right here. You wanna make sure you poke your hand in and add some, okay? Just push it in. Cause you want your chicken guys to be super, super flavorful. So I'm only gonna add just a small amount. yeah so guys my chicken is nicely nicely seasoning so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put some fresh thyme and some scallion on the inside and onion that's half of onion and you can always leave it to marinate guys for at least one hour okay Yeah, that's it. Like 
So here I have my baking tin right here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some olive oil. I'm gonna take my brush and just brush it all over in my baking pan. Then I'm gonna add my chicken. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm gonna put it in my oven guys for at least one hour and 30 minutes and 180 degrees Celsius okay and I'm gonna cover it up with my file paper so it doesn't burn okay I don't want my chicken to easily burn, so that's why. It don't have to be perfect. This is good enough. So guys, I just removed my jerk chicken from the oven. And this is what it look like. Look at that guys. Super, super delicious. It looking so 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 good but it is not yet finished I'm gonna put it back in my oven okay and what I did guys I make some sauce for my jerk chicken okay so in this bowl right here I've got one tablespoon of ketchup and I'm gonna add one teaspoon of my brown sugar and I add at least Two tablespoon of hot water I'm gonna give it a stir and I'm gonna also add one teaspoon of my jerk seasoning and you want to give it a good stir so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add it to my baking pan and it's just gonna allow your chicken to be super, super juicy, okay? And I'm also gonna put it back in my oven for at least 30 minutes, cause it is not yet finished. Look at that, guys. I'm telling you, this recipe right here is a must try. You can just take all the juice at the bottom, the gravy, and pour it on your chicken, okay? So in the oven it goes. Stay tuned. So guys, my whole jerk chicken is all finished and this is what it look like. It looking so, so, so good. Honestly guys, it look as if I put it on a grill. Look at that charcoal, it look perfect. And so, so, so juicy. I'm loving this recipe. Look at that. Please guys, don't forget to share share this video to your families to your friends and everyone on your social media i will really really appreciate it so guys with my jerk chicken i'm gonna have some mashed potato so i'm just here in peeling my potato and I'm using at least eight potato okay this one make eight so I'm just peeling off the skin I love mashed potato and I know it's gonna go so perfect with the jerk chicken you guys are gonna enjoy this recipe so now I'm just gonna wash it them all so guys, as you can see, I'm just cutting up my potato. Mm. 
you can cut it in whatever size you prefer it doesn't really matter So that's done. Perfect. So here I have my pot on my stove, guys. And to my pot, I add some cold water, okay? You can always add some hot water. And I add at least 12 cups, okay? So now I'm gonna add some salt. At least one teaspoon of salt. Give it a stir. Then I'm also going to add one teaspoon of my butter. And I'm going to add my potatoes now. And you're going to allow them to cook, guys, till they're really, really nice and soft, okay? Because we're doing mashed potatoes. So all that butter is going to melt. So now I'm going to cover my pot. Or you can just off cover it so it doesn't boil over. So my potato is all finished. And I just remove it from the pot. But make sure guys all of the water is all drained off. Okay. So as you can see it is nice and soft. And that's exactly how you want it. That's perfect. So I'm going to add just a small amount of butter. And I'm also going to add, guys, some coconut milk, okay? And I'm also going to add at least one tablespoon of my mayonnaise. And I'm going to use my hand mixer to mix it all in. If you have a mashed potato masher, you can always use that. Or if you have a fork, guys, you can always use a fork, okay? But I want mine to be nice and smooth, so that's why I'm using the and mixer I'm gonna add some more of my coconut milk and I'm gonna add at least two tablespoons And more mayonnaise okay you can always add guys to your liking some of my black pepper Just add to your liking and just you know there's a pinch more salt so guys my mashed potato is finally finished and look at that it is so nice so creamy so fluffy it come out so good and it tastes super super delicious i'm telling you this recipe guys is a must try with the coconut cream mm, so good so guys i'm gonna also cook some broccoli and these are the long broccoli and what i did i cut off the edge because this is part is chewy so i cut it off the end part as i said and I give it a good wash so now I'm gonna cook it okay you don't have to use this broccoli you can always use the smaller one but I like this one because it looks so so good when it's on the plate yeah so in my pot here I've got at least one cup of hot water so now I'm gonna add some of my olive oil at least two teaspoon then I'm gonna add some salt for taste 
you can add just you know to your liking some black pepper and I'm gonna also add some of my garlic powder at least one teaspoon I want to give it a stir so now I'm gonna add my broccoli I'm gonna cover my pot and I'm gonna leave it guys for at least five minutes okay yes so guys everything is all finished and I'm telling you it looking super super delicious you guys are gonna enjoy this meal your whole family it is so 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 good look at the chicken guys the mashed potato the broccoli please guys give me a thumbs up and share guys share this video to your families to your friends and everyone on your social media I will really really appreciate it what I did I add some butter and the broccoli and just sprinkle some parsley on top and that's my gravy from my chicken right there so everything is all plated I'm telling you I cannot wait to dive in it is so so good the chicken is so juicy so so good so guys, I hope you all do enjoy this recipe. If you do try it, don't forget to comment below and tell me what it's like, okay? And please guys, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget guys, I work so hard just to get this video out for you guys. So please support my channel. And if you have been supporting my channel, I thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you all so much. And don't forget, guys, to share, 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 share. <laughs> yes, I thank you all so much for watching this video. Until next time, bye. Don't forget to keep laughing, keep smiling, no matter what. Because God is always on your side. Bye, guys. Much love.